Hey everyone, John here and welcome back to another Mixer tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can stream without even needing to use a capture card. Now I've done this before showing you the Xbox app, but now I have found another method using the Lightstream Studio. This is all on a website and it's currently available only for Mixer partners and Mixer Pro members. I'm not sure whether or not it's going to become available to everybody. But for right now, it is in beta, and for what it does, it is phenomenal. Now, it does have some limitations, but you're able to get a high-quality stream out of this service, and it is awesome. Being able to get your overlay on there, being able to have stream alerts, that's huge for people who are just streaming directly off of their Xbox. So I'm going to be showing you how to get all that set up, and even showing you what it looks like throughout this video. So in order to get everything squared away to start working on it, what you're gonna wanna do is go to Mixer.com, you're gonna log in, click on your avatar, go to Manage Channel, scroll down where it shows Lightstream Beta, make sure it's turned on, click on Save, and then click Enter Lightstream Studio. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna ask you to give it permission to log in. Once that's all cleared away, this is what you'll see. Now, some things are a little different on mine. So you might not have alert box. For some reason, I can't get rid of it. <laughs> I don't know why. And this guy is usually gonna be turned off. So what I did on the bottom left-hand corner here is I just click on the little red speaker. You need to have that unmuted because that's gonna be all of your Xbox sounds. From your microphone to the game sound to your party chat, everything is going to be running through that mixer feed audio that goes right into your stream. On the bottom here, the bottom center, you're going to have your scenes. So just like a professional streamer's setup, they have scenes for like when they're going to be right back or, you know, if they're transitioning to a different game or something like that. Whatever their different scenes setup are, you're going to have those abilities too. But you're going to have to, from what I understand, is you have to actually click on them yourselves. There's no way of actually transitioning them without actually physically clicking on them. So you'll have to have this web browser up and then click on them when you're going to be transitioning, which really isn't that big of a deal. Us PC streamers, we've had to do that before the stream deck ever came around. So being clicking on different things, that's 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 fine. <laughs> that's fine. So now we're going to go ahead and actually populate the stream. So how do you do that? So where it shows layers on the very top here, you got this little plus symbol. Click on that and you got all these different options. But what we're going to be focusing on is images and the third party integration. So images, you already got all these different types of overlays, right? So what if you want to upload your own? So what you're going to do is click on more overlays and it allows you to grab your own. You can even go and grab some that Mixer has. So we're going to go to Mixer Overlays and I'm just going to grab a random one here. So we're just going to grab this first one because it's blue. It's easy to see because we've got that black background. So once that loads in, it's going to look just like that. Bam. So now the overlay is done. You're good. Nothing else needs to be there. But now we're going to go and add in the third party integration. These are your third party integrations. So in order to get to them, you click on the plus symbol again, go all the way down to the bottom, it says third party integrations. And then you got all these guys right here. So we're gonna click on Streamlabs. So once you click on Streamlabs, up here it's gonna ask you to enter in the Streamlabs URL. Now this will work for your alerts and it will also work for your event list. So we're gonna go ahead and grab just from regular alert box here. We're going to go and copy that link, which is for the entire general. Make sure you're on generals tab, but it's going to be for all of these. And we're going to go ahead and paste that right in there. It's going to tell us that it has been loaded and then we're going to move it over here and I'm going to go ahead and test it. So I have it on my other monitor on the other side here and we're going to test the host. And there you go. You can also resize it if you want to can move it around anywhere you would like just like you could if you were using an actual encoder so that's pretty much getting the initial look completed but let's say you wanted to add another scene like a like a be right back so we'll click on add scene at the bottom and now it makes the canvas blank which is what an encoder would do as well 
So then we go ahead and we would click on image. And I already have one here, so we're just gonna grab the BRB for, for Mixer. And you know, we just keep clicking on them little by little. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and now go to the actual Xbox itself. So what you're gonna do on Xbox is pop in a game, make sure you actually are inside the game first. You'll click the home button, you're gonna go over two times and it's gonna be where the broadcast and capture is. And you're gonna go to set up your broadcast. Now, while you're on the broadcast and capture, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the advanced settings and you're gonna wanna adjust the advanced settings to have the mic volume still be, or yeah, the mic volume is gonna be about five and then like your game audio and everything like that's gonna be like two. The reason for that is because you want to have it to where people can hear you over the game. Now, in some games, you can actually adjust the actual master volume, which is fine. But there's other games like, take for example, Halo 5 Guardians. And I don't recall ever being able to change the, the master volume to that game. So it's always a loud game. So having the ability of making those adjustments is important. So once you have that set up, then you can go and actually set up your broadcast. And when you set up your broadcast, you can, of course, have a microphone, which will be the microphone from your actual headset. You're gonna wanna have the chat up on the side there so that way you can actually see it. No one else is gonna be able to see it but you. And then you have your camera. So then if you have a USB camera, you can plug that directly into the actual Xbox itself. And it's important to have that plugged directly into the Xbox. That way you don't have to worry about having any type of delay when you're talking or when you're playing the game. So with it being plugged into the Xbox, it keeps everything synced. So you don't even have to worry about actually adding any delays or anything like that, which is great. You can move it around based on how your overlay is designed. So you can also do that inside of the broadcast settings. And all that stuff's pretty self-explanatory, so definitely go ahead and explore all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Start Broadcast. So once it starts to do the broadcast, Xbox is then gonna go and send it over to Mixer. And now you can see here that I have the webcam, which is, you know, right here on the top left corner. And then there's also over here on the right hand side, you have an output of what it is. So that's really nice too. Now I'm going to say something like, I'm going to say jump and I, I don't know if it's going to be in sync or not based on what I'm doing. It might have a little bit of a delay because streaming naturally has a little bit of a delay. So I'm going to be like jump. But then if I take the camera, <laughs> So if I take the camera and then I say jump, you can see that it's in sync. Jump, jump, jump. So that's always good. That way you guys are not having to worry about any weird stuff, right? <laughs> But I mean, that's that's really about it, getting everything set up. It's that simple and the quality is great. The stream looks phenomenal. I can't complain. And it's it's such a great option. It really is. But if you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comment section below. If I missed anything, you guys saw something that I missed, or if you guys need something more explained, let me know in the comment section below. You can also reach out to me over on Discord, Twitter, Mixer. You can send me an email, wherever you guys need to get a hold of me. There's many different ways. All that stuff's going to be in the video description below. But thank you so much for hanging out with me, watching. Hopefully this was a lot easier than the Xbox version. But whichever one works for you, let me know. And I wish you guys nothing but the best with streaming. But thank you again for watching if you did make it all the way to the end. And I'll catch you guys later. Keep being awesome and take care.